everybody, Bonnie here. Hope you guys are doing pretty good. Uh, welcome to those of you who are new and have just recently subscribed. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Ella from No Catchy Name. I know she had done a shout out video, which is awesome. And um, thank you if I've missed <laughs> any of the other, if there were any other shout out videos. Um, I've not been online a lot lately. Just trying to survive. It's not, it's not fun here in Michigan right now. Uh, I'm in the Upper Peninsula and um, for those of you who might not know, I work midnights and I've been working through this whole thing. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. I did get some Happy Meal and thank you so much. Um, Marsha from Made by Marsha Mom Marsha sent me a card I was not expecting. You are awesome and so pretty. Look at that. She makes all of her own cards. I just love it. And yeah, I'm kind of jealous of people who get to stay home and don't have to work through this whole thing. But whatever. Grass is always greener, right? So um, I got a very nice card from her and I will link her channel down below. And then Amber, darling Amber, I was not expecting this in the mail <laughs> at all. Uh, yeah, do you know who that is? That's strawberry shortcake. That is um, a cake tin. And well, Umbrella's like, oh, are you gonna make a cake? And I'm like, no, I'm gonna hang it on the wall. Oh, I should have hung it behind me. I wanna hang it by my desk so I can see it. Um, and like hanging on the wall like, like the Golden Girls had their cake tin, I don't know the technical term, things <laughs> on their wall. Um, I do love strawberry shortcake. She's my favorite. She's just, she's it for me, and especially the 80s version. Um, I'm a child of the 80s, and that's why my channel name is Strawberry Bonnie, because I love strawberry shortcake, and, and the real strawberries. I do like the real strawberries. Um, yeah, so I haven't been working on a lot, which is why I haven't put out a video, <laughs> and I've just been tired. <laughs> and uh, in survival mode. But I did finish Sophia's little purse. I stuffed it a little bit and sewed it together. And then, then this is wire here. Uh, so it's bendy. So there's my Sophia. It goes on her arm like that. I'm going to be fixing this arm. I don't like how low it is. So I'm gonna, so I'm just gonna bring that up. I don't know, I'm kind of fussy. And I still need to get her glasses attached to her and trimmed because <laughs> You can see the little wires right there. And then she's got those glasses, those holder string things. I have to um, find a necklace or something to, to make that with. And then I will start on rose. I did read through the pattern for rose um, in that pattern. Unfortunately, it's no longer available. Um, it's from Alison Hoffman, Crafty is Cool. And she pulled the... Um, patterns from Etsy which is where I bought it like two years ago but she's coming out with a book that I mentioned in my last video I'm pretty sure um, September in September so it's a kit like you can make Sophia it'll come with the stuff to make Sophia so that's exciting I'll be making another one um I've just been crocheting on my shawl my purple one that's in here just as discomfort that's that's all I've been doing uh, I've, I've gotten pretty far you can hear my my stitch marker on there the little deer one that made I made from a charm that Amber sent me but um right now I'm on elderberry I've got elderberry attached to latte cake and it's going to be bigger than I thought and it's heavier than I thought which I love because it's kind of like a weighted blanket this is just, I'm sorry for the noise there. It's just the granny shawl, granny stitch. Um, I'm doing random patterns with the yarn. I'm sticking to mostly, mostly purples. Um, the light color in there is technically a blue, but I like how it, how it works out. There's, um, there's, let's see, there's latte cake, there's some random yarn. Um, I think I went through all the yarn colors in the last video, but I did add, this is a new yarn to it, um, elderberry. 
and um, I because I want it bigger and because I'm trying to stick with purples and because Michael's is not open <laughs> um, I have this that one of the girls um, picked out for me for my birthday I think it was this is my favorite kind of yarn ever this is called cherry compote I love Karen big cakes I just I like the feel of the yarn and it's acrylic so it washes up good <laughs> um, this one's got I pulled the center because I started I actually had attached it to this purple right here which is raisin and it was too close in color because I don't want it to be I want it to be kind of like a scrappy a little bit but um, so then that, that's when I, I took the elderberry off the shelf and then started that and I like oh, I really like this color here it's like almost a pink so this will attach onto there but the reds in that I'm going to be trimming that out or I'm not going to add that to the shawl um, I just have this much in a couple tiny little balls of the Vernet velvet right here uh, there were three knots in the yard when I was crocheting so I had to keep fixing that anyway this is how big it is it's not quite um, we'll just put that down there. My arms aren't covered and I really like my arms covered when, um, when I'm sitting there crocheting, but it's very warm on my back. I've been finding though, since I can't crochet it when it's on my back, um, but it's just so warm and cozy when I've got it on my lap and I'm working on it. I do like to wear um shawls like this kind of like half poncho which is what I'm going to end up doing with this just like this because when I'm sitting in my chair I've got a blanket on the back of my chair which keeps my back warm but it can't really get into a blanket when you're trying to crochet because then your arms aren't free um this however you can see I need to go a little at least to my wrist um but it's really warm to keep up here and then it, it stays and then I can crochet with it on and it's just so, I was so close I've been falling asleep wearing this just like this just like this just oh nice and cozy so that's what I've been working on I worked a little bit on the blanket of the the, the neutrals with the gray and the, the tan um, but this is what I've been working on for the last couple weeks maybe I don't know Anytime I get a chance to sit down, I start working on it, and then that usually means I take a nap because I fall asleep. <laughs> uh, I'm using an H hook, I think. Is it a G? No, I'm using a G, a four millimeter hook. So the granny stitches are a little bit tighter. Um, I had made a shawl before with, I think it was a J hook maybe? I don't know, it was a bigger hook. So it worked out fast, but then there's a, the, the holes of course are bigger in it. And I really like how this is not so big so that's what I've been doing um hopefully I will be seeing you guys sometime within the week or maybe next week week wow I can't even say that word uh it's been really cold here <laughs> weather wise I drove home in almost whiteout conditions a couple of spots on my drive there's it's by a lake and then with the snow snow it was like May 8th yeah <laughs> it's cold it's like gonna be in the 40s today um Jenny I'm a little bit of jealous of you with your heat wave <laughs> in California I can't even imagine 80 90 degree weather right now it's just it's cold <laughs> but that's okay because that means I get to wear this and I don't have to put it away I think I'm, I'm not going to put it away I'm gonna leave it on the back of my chair I do have a few other things that I've are like not being worked on right now that I want to finish too. One of those is my granny square and re rectangle blanket that I'm doing in St. Patrick's Day colors that um, Terry from Yarn Joy had done that <laughs> Cal a couple months ago maybe I don't know I just did never oh that's just one more thing that I need to, to do so um, I hope you guys are finding some joy in these days and I will be seeing you soon. I really appreciate you stopping by. Bye.